Welcome back to the Madeline Knit Along. I'm Jenica York Carter and I'm ready to show you section five section six. We just did section five in the last segment, which means you are over the halfway point in completing your wrap. Let's begin with row one of section six. We start with knit one and knit in the front and in the back to continue our side shaping and then we knit two stitches before we begin our pattern repeat. For this pattern repeat we're doing another lace stitch. We're going to yarn over and this time we're going to slip two stitches as if to knit at the same time as though you were going to do it, uh, knit two together. Just slip them both off then knit the next stitch Pass the two slipped stitches over and yarn over and then knit three. One, two, three. So again you're yarning over, you're picking up two of the stitches as if to knit to slip, slip them. Oh, did I get them both? Sorry I thought I heard my yarn split. There we go. Slipping them both as if to knit knitting the next stitch and then passing both slip stitches over with our yarn over and knit three two and three so yarn over pat slip two stitches as if to knit knit one pass both slip stitches over I think I just got one let's make sure that both of them get over yarn over and that takes us to our last one two three four five stitches so instead of knitting two this time we will just knitting three this time we'll just knit the two so that we can do our side shaping of knitting two together and then knitting the last one our next row is simply to purl and knit the first two stitches as we have been doing and then we're just purling across. You'll notice in this knit stitch that we are still doing a three stitch decrease but we're doing it in a slightly different fashion by slipping two stitches together knit wise rather and passing them over a single stitch. In section four we passed a single stitch over two stitches that were knit together. You get a slightly different effect and that's what we're going for. We want to echo the look of the previous pattern but give us a little bit of variety and see something that looks a little bit different for our next stitch pattern. So let's do that again in row three. We knit one we knit the front and the back of the next stitch. This time we go straight into our repeat. We yarn over, we slip two stitches as if to knit, knit one, and pass both slip stitches over, and then a yarn over, and then we knit three. One, two, three. Yarn over, slip two stitches as if to knit, knit one, pass both slip stitches over, yarn over, and knit three. Once again we have to start our say it's the same stitch repeat all the way across this row as the previous row, right side row, but we're starting at a different space. One, so that we have our shaping on either side and two to stagger the lace and get the overall effect. I'll do a few more rows so that you can see how it works up. I've done another few rows just so that you can see how it starts to develop. When you look at the shape of the eyelets it almost creates little six petaled flowers. I think that it's a nice variation. It's a little bit more open and lacy than what we did in section four down here. 
but there's a nice similarity to it. There's a bit of a rhythm that comes in repeating some of the same concepts, but with a little bit of variety. I hope you've enjoyed doing Section 6, and I look forward to showing you Section 7 in a future segment.